Hey guys, Norm McGregor on Alza Hideaway for our Island Adventure. Alright, November 30th, 2016. And there's a blue sky. Wow, this is something uh, we haven't seen a lot of. October and November, we had three days without rain in October. And today is the fourth day in November without rain. So, uh, that's pretty amazing. It's been... Uh, Pretty wet here, and dark, and cloudy, and, uh, and solar energies uh, hasn't been producing basically anything. But uh, solar energy can still be used, uh, even in those kind of stuff. So I'll show you how I use it. Okay, guys. So we're pulling in somewhere around 160 watts of power. Uh, remember, I'm 53 degrees north, so like I'm quite far north, and uh, the sun just barely gets above the tree line for a couple hours a day so what i do is i use my system as a backup system because we do experience a lot of power um, out each year so this is the magnesine 4024 inverter and what it does is it will automatically switch back and forth between grid power and battery power if there's enough voltage. So right now I have it in what's called VDC connect, which is voltage DC connect. So as long as the battery's within a certain range, uh, it'll run off the off battery power and invert it. If it drops above, uh, out of that range, it'll automatically switch to grid power. Now, which is good, okay, like right now we're getting some power in, so we're, we're using that, and we're getting some 92% state of charge which is nice. We'll go back to control. Now, normally what I do is I run, is I run in what's called auto connect mode. And what auto connect mode does is you're always running off of grid power unless there's a power outage. So as soon as there's a power outage, it'll automatically click to inverter mode and you got power. Now the beauty of the MagnaSign is it switches in 13 milliseconds, which means it's not even half a sine wave. So nothing gets affected, your TV doesn't get affected, your lights don't flicker. This thing will switch back and forth and you won't even know it in the house. Like it's really, really quick. So this is what's really nice about this particular system and why I chose this for this location in Haida Gwaii. Because in the winter, we don't get a lot of sun. And what I need here is I need backup power um, more so than solar power. But having solar power in the summer, basically 10 months of the year, um, you know, it cuts down on my electric, electric bill. All right, so the poor little chickens are uh, so glad to have some sun. They're just getting nice and warm and enjoying that sun. Hey, you guys, you're doing good, eh? Egg produ production is starting to drop a little bit. So now we're down to uh, one egg each probably every six days. So you guys are slacking. you got to get some more eggs going, but... No, they're really enjoying the sun, and it's a beautiful day here. All right, guys, so here on Haida Gwaii, I use my solar power system in the winter as a backup-only system. Uh, first reason is we're 53 degrees north, and we don't get a lot of sun. Um, as you can see, it's noon. The sun has just coming over, come over the trees. Uh, it comes over about 11.30 in the morning, by 2 o'clock it's gone. So it provides a very, very short window of opportunity uh, for the solar panels to try and power your house. But it, usually what it does, it will provide just enough energy to keep the batteries topped. Um, so that if there's a power outage, um, the batteries are always 100%. Uh, the magnum inverter, if, uh, if the batteries fall too far, um, the magnum inverter will connect to the grid and charge the batteries just to keep them top. Um, as I said, winter here is storm season on Haida Gwaii. Storm watching is a very popular winter event here, and if you like storm watching, you should come see, because we do get winds 100, 150 kilometers an hour on a regular basis. Okay, It's not the exception by any means, uh, and it can last a day, it can last many days in a row. And with the high winds, uh, trees go down and they take out power lines and you can be depending on you can remember we're on an island and the hydro company could be on the other side and they have to come across in a ferry and if it's too rough to get across they can't come across and you're on your own 
So you got to make sure you got uh, enough power to uh, sustain, you know, uh, quite a period of time sometimes. And uh, that's why I use my system as a backup system only, so that I've always got my batteries 100% topped. All right, guys. Remember, great on Nazi Hideaway for all adventure. Take care.